If we start now, we can be ready for the next epidemic. If we start now, we can be ready for the next epidemic. If we start now, we can be ready for the next epidemic. If we start now, we can be ready for the next epidemic. Today, the greatest risk of global catastrophe doesn't look like this. Instead, it looks like this. If we start now, we can be ready for the next epidemic. If anything kills over 10 million people in the next few decades, it's most likely to be a highly infectious virus rather than a war. If we start now, we can be ready for the next epidemic. Uh, you can have a virus where people feel well enough while they're infectious that they get on a plane or they go to a market. The first of the virus could be a natural epidemic like Ebola or it could be bioterrorism. If we start now, we can be ready for the next epidemic. We need to do simulations, germ games, not war games, so that we see where the holes are. If we start now, we can be ready for the next epidemic. The last time a germ game was done in the United States was back in 2001, and it didn't go so well. So far, the score is germs one, people zero. Epidemic. It's that it can serve as a early warning, a wake-up call to get ready. If we start now, we can be ready for the next epidemic. As an example, uh, we could have taken the blood of survivors, processed it, and put that plasma back in people to protect them. Uh, but that was never tried. Thank you.